I'm Josh Light with Politicket.com here in Texas with Susan Narvice. She's a Republican running for Congress in District 35. How are you doing today, Susan? Doing great. Great. Six days out. That sounds exciting. Coming right down to the wire. So, Susan, tell me big differences between you and your competitors in this race. Well, uh, first of all, I'm a local mayor, former mayor of San Marcos, which is local government, been elected before, small business owner, been in the private sector. And how has your experience prepared you to be a congressman? Well, I believe that people have elected me, re-elected me, because they know that I work hard, that I do what I say I'm going to do, and that I've dealt with public policy at the local level, which is where it really should be uh, dealt with and not in the federal government. And Susan, tell me about District 35. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of the four new districts in Texas. It stretches from Austin to San Antonio. I live right in the center of it in San Marcos. My business is there, my husband works there, and I grew up in San Antonio. And work as mayor took me into Austin. So I really feel that I'm the best to represent that district. Susan, when you're talking to people in District 35, what fiscal issues are they concerned with? Top three issues across the district are to reduce the federal um, budget, you know, to the, the reach of government, uh, reduce the debt, and get government out of their daily lives. That's what they're telling me all across the district, no matter what party. And what are you going to do to help reduce the debt? Mm -hmm. Well, I believe you start looking at what do you have, what do you bring in, and you budget accordingly. You don't spend over and above that. And although we have a big deficit that we have to pay back, I think we quit adding to that uh, unless it's an essential function of government. Now, Susan, we looked at your online influence. It was very high in your primary. You predicted that you would win. Um, what have you done since then to help improve your online influence? Well, that's exciting because we've, I think, about tripled. You know, we were at like 600 uh, likes. Now we're over 1,700. We're people like 900 people are talking about us now. Um, that's on Facebook. We've Twittered. Um, we keep our website updated. Uh, we have volunteers everywhere. That's really the foot power has been amazing in this district. And how are you using social media in this race? Mm -hmm. Well, to communicate where we've been, where we're going to be, what are the top of uh, issues that uh, people are talking about. You'll see our ads reflect that. And, of course, that. We've, we had one ad that just talks about my endorsement by the San Antonio Express. It's reached like 20, I don't know, 28,000 maybe by now, uh, just in that one little ad. So I think those are things that people are attracted to in the NRA rating. A AQ rating is getting uh, some more... Um, uh, likes and, and reaches and shares. Susan, how's your campaign going right now? We think it's really wonderful. You know, we've been a little quiet campaign. Nobody's really been paying attention to District 35 because the district doesn't look like a Republican can win. But what we find is the people that live in District 35, they like conservative family values. And we reflect that. That's all I am. Mom, grandma, uh, local mayor, um, military family. Uh, GED recipient, you know, had to make myself over, you know, pick myself up by the bootstraps, exactly what our country needs to do right now. And Susan, where can people go to learn more about you? They can go to SusanForCongress.com or NorviceForCongress.com. Those are uh, where they can find us on the web. Well, thanks, Susan. Great to be with you, and thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate everybody's vote.